4K stands for 4000 pixels, which means the higher the resolution, the sharper the picture will be. This exporting setting will allow you to show your 4K footage to your audience. So stick around as I show you the step-by-step -step on the best 4K export settings for DaVinci Resolve 18. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that your timeline is in 4K, including your clips. So right here we have one clip that is 4K. In order to check that, you want to go into File and your resolution should be on 3840 by 2160. That means that this footage that I have right here is in 4K. Now, of course, we also want our timeline to be in 4K. So if you are not sure, it's very simple to check. You want to click on project settings in the bottom right and on timeline resolution, make sure it's on 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. If it's not, you can just easily just do it manually. Uh, most of the time it should be on 1920 by 1080 but if not just click on 3840 by 2160 ultra hd and once you have changed it if needed to just click on save next you want to go to your deliver tab which should be the tab in the farthest right now you want to look for custom export so right here is very simple you want to go to your file name and just change it whatever you want i want to call it river with trees location you want to set it where you are able to find your videos so i'm just going to go right here on videos on render leave it as single clip and you want to go into your video right here we have some predetermined settings on format you have two options you could click on mp4 or you could click on quicktime but there's a difference QuickTime will make your video sharper, but it will take longer to upload your video into YouTube. So unless your upload speed is super fast, I will highly recommend MP4. Codec, you want to click on H.264. On Encoder, you want to click on NVIDIA if you have the option, which is a graphics card. If you guys don't, just click on Native or any other graphics card that you might have in your PC or Mac. The render speed is going to be a huge difference, but you could only do what you have. So if you have a graphics card, click on NVIDIA. If not, just click on native. Now your resolution should match your timeline resolution. So if this is not in 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, change it. Don't worry about your frame rate. The venture resolve will automatically set it for you depending on your footage. My footage is 60 frames per second, but there's other options such as 59, 50, 40, 30, 29, and all that stuff. On quality, click on restrict to and set your bitrate to 70,000. According to YouTube itself, it recommends you a bitrate between 66,000 to 65,000 if your frame rate is 48, 50, or 60. So my frame rate was 60, so I could go between 66 and 85 depending on my liking. And if your frame rate is anything below 48, you can set your bit rate between 44 to 56,000. And right here, if you click, and this option will only show if you click on NVIDIA. Uh, so many of you might not even have this option, but if you do, on rate control, click on variable rate. On preset, click on fast. On tuning, click on high quality. On two pass, click on full. And that should be it. The last thing that you want to do is click on the three dots, which is going to be right here at the top and save your exporting settings for the future. Just click on save new preset and just call it whatever you want. You can call it 4K export and click on OK. So guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys later. Take it easy.